How'd you think the meeting went? Uh, I don't know. It was a uh, a lot of conversation. Um, NASCAR updated us on what's going on. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we see some changes here soon. Did you feel like it was a lot of data thrown at you guys? We honestly didn't really get through that much data. It was okay. just a, a lot of open conversation. Okay. Did you of the data you saw, what did you think? Uh, I mean, the, the screen that they showed us, they um, have made improvements with the rear impact. So that's a good step in the right direction. You've had a lot of rear impacts this year. Are you satisfied with these proposed changes? Uh, I don't know. I won't know <laughs> until I get the uh until i get the, the updated pieces and have another incident like that but um by the paper that they showed us it should be directionally better do you feel as though nascar has a good uh, amount of a good communications channel open between you guys do you believe there's enough of a free flow of information between you and nascar um i think that there could be more did you get the specific answers from the crash test on wednesday and what did those say Yes, I think so. Um, so we got through two slides. Uh, I believe that they had a much larger presentation available to us, but we got stuck in open conversation that took up the majority of the time. Um, but I believe that they showed us a, uh, the data from the crash test on Wednesday and what they showed us was better what for the driver. Be, what seems to be the main concerns or complaints or, you know, it sounded like it turned into a bitch section and then they got down to brass tacks. What were the major, what is the sentiment coming from the drivers right now? Um, we just want the car to, we, we want to feel less inside the car. So the, uh, you know, you look at from the outside and, and you watch crashes and it doesn't look like anything's happening, but the, our body seems to be absorbing the majority of the impacts instead of the car absorbing the impacts. So we just want the uh, the car to help us out where we're not absorbing as much. Do you think it's a situation where the sections are just so strong by themselves that you add it up collectively and you get something that's a lot more rigid than it should be? Yeah, I mean, definitely the the car is a lot stiffer and more solid than last year's car, which is why we're in this position. Christopher, they uh, mentioned, and you referenced that just um, couldn't get through everything. And I think there was a conversation maybe even meeting again tomorrow. Is that something that you guys are looking at or would look to do as soon or, or need another meeting at some point? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not the spokesperson no. for the drivers, but uh, there is no meeting scheduled in the near future that I'm aware of. Okay. Is how, how would you, you, how like would you, you care? Need to have another one? Sorry. Do you feel like you need to have another one to kind of go through everything else, or are you comfortable after this one? Uh, I mean, whenever they get material, you know, they, they were obviously focused on the rear impact stuff, and they showed us the rear impact stuff. So um, if they get more updates in the future, we need to see that. How, Is this, how, would, you, how would you characterize the kind of mood of the meeting? Was it tense? Was it adversarial? Or was it collaborative? Um, definitely tense from the driver's side. Uh, you know, NASCAR did a, a good job of trying to answer the questions that the drivers asked, um, but you can tell that there's frustration. Is this changing how you race any, especially in a must-win situation this weekend? No. How do you approach this weekend behind the wheel? Um, obviously, it seems like you, get, you guys are in a must-win situation, so um, how do you approach this weekend's events? Yeah, I mean, just uh, with one thing in mind, you know, and. and I, we don't really approach this weekend different than any other weekend because we want to win all of them. I know you said you're not the spokesperson for the drivers, but do you feel like you're being listened to a little bit more now? Uh, I was very quiet in the room, so I, I don't really have any comments As for that. Group, do you think that the drivers are being listened to more now? Um, we'll know more after this. You know, it all depends on how they react going forward. How do you feel about your car for Las Vegas and your intermediate pro uh, program going forward? Yeah, I feel a lot better about Las Vegas than I do Charlotte. Uh, I wish we were going to, or even running the mile and a half here, I would feel better about it. Who are some of the more package? vocal drivers? Uh, definitely the elder, you know, people of the, the group, Harvick, uh, Denny Hamlin. Um, it seems like the guys that have been around the longest uh, are the ones that are taking the lead in this role. Has, Jeff, has, has Jeff Burton slept in any as being like the mayor in the past of an advocate for safety? Has he had a hand in any of this or is this Who's that? Jeff Burton? Uh, he he was there, but um, he let the drivers talk. Okay. Was it pretty unanimous among the drivers from their aspect of it all? Yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody wants the same goals going forward that 
you know, the, the cars need to hit not as hard. Um, so yeah, the, the goal is pretty straightforward. What is it you like about Las Vegas, just in particular? Uh, I like the high speeds of Las Vegas. And, um, you know, it, it's a mile and a half that you can move around and run a bunch of different lanes at. It's fairly high grip, but uh, I my favorite part is the high speeds. Did you do the homestead test? I did. Were you running the rim like usual? Yeah, I think it's going to be fairly common across the board. Um, you had such a good first round, so are you, are you frustrated headed into this third race, the second round? Yeah, I mean, I'm disappointed with where we're at, but, uh, you know, I, I feel confident that we're going to have an opportunity to advance. Um, it, it's a going to be a lot of work and and very difficult to do but uh there is the chance is still there but definitely after talladega and texas very uh deflating yeah. if you do advance how confident do you feel like you can contend for a spot in that championship four? Oh, i i feel i feel really really good about our chances if we make it through this round